And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdos Discard. That's right, this donation deck where we're going to be playing a Rakdos version of Discard. The reason why to play red along with the Discard package is because of Croxa, the Titan of Death's Hunger. Of course, whenever it enters or attacks, they discard a card. And if they did not discard a non-land card, then they lose three life. So, you know, we got that. We got Fenlurker, Duress, Davriel. You know, we're trying to, you know, Agonizing Remorse. We're trying to empty out their hand in Burglarette. And then take over in, like, at the top end, you know, having Rankle. Um, Rankle is just awesome in these kind of decks. Looks like we got, instead of playing the full four Burglarettes, we got Meyer Tritons in here to play some defense against the aggro decks. Um, plus, Meyer Triton, of course, mills over two cards to you, from your graveyard, from your library to your graveyard, so it gives you some more opportunities to find Croxa and get Croxa in the graveyard and then recast it. Um, so yeah, I like the look of this deck. Uh, I'm not sure like the Bedevil's better to play the Murderous Rider, honestly. I kind of feel like Murderous Rider may be better there, and I'm not so sure about this Abantu. But besides that, I like I like what we got going on here. How many lands we got? 24 land. Okay, I can see that. I can see that, especially with the Midnight Reaper helping you hit land drops. Um, going with, you know, like all the dual lands because, you know, we need double red for Croxa. Bringing Croxa back, so that double red's kind of rough. Um, but yeah, let's give this give this a, uh, a chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so Ryder does not hit the graveyard for Croxa, and this can take out Witch's Oven which is an important artifact to be able to take out. So that's two good good uh, aspects of the devil. Hey, Necrolepsy. No, like, so Cardboard Live is just getting set up now. I haven't set up Cardboard Live yet. But it looks like cardboard lives working, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with that tomorrow. See if maybe we use that instead of Deckmaster. I don't see turn one blast zone too often. We will we will keep replaying Quaxa. Manipulation of the mind. Alright, so obviously I'm gonna be bedeviling it's a matter of give and take. the Jace. I probably don't want to mill over my own cards and give me more fuel for Croxa. Like they know about this Croxa right here. They're just giving me Croxa fuel. Put the Midnight Reaper down at the bottom, because <clears throat> against blue decks, creatures probably don't die that often. <laughs> Feed the Titan, he hungers. <laughs> Portland Rangers on fire today. Yeah, Necrolepsy. Oh, you just want me to build my own brawl deck? Okay, I was gonna say I, I, I was gonna use. Those brawl decks that were in the chat there. But yeah, you want me to build my own brawl deck for the next sub battle day? Alright. Zone looked pretty good here. Having a land two for one me and slow me down a turn. 
Went pretty good as far as lands go. Give me more Croxas. Does look like their plan is to mill me out, and so these Mire Tritons are helping my opponent's game plan. Yep, looks like that's their plan. So I'm probably going to board out Mire Triton. Still hungry. We shall feed. Yeah, that was an escaped Croxa. Maybe should not have played that land. Now they can't counter. Like, if, if that last card's a counter spell. Now they have to just discard it. Okay, it's not just a counterspell. So I can I can play the Ugin and kill like the Drown Secrets. I think I just want Crocs in play still. Make them lose life. Oh, I guess we get to just play all of these, don't we? This is just gonna burn them out. They lose three more. There's three more. The Titan of Death's Hunger. It's a pretty epic name. All right, more drill bit. Um, so I don't want, let's see, I don't want Bantu, don't want Liliana, don't want Meyer Triton. Uh, I'm not so sure about these Midnight Reapers. So I do need to be able to kill Jace, and I want Ugin to kill Drown Secrets. Sorry, excuse me. Killing Drown Secrets, definitely important. Gonna go with the Murderous Rider and a Rampage. Okay. <laughs> you saw someone cast a Croxer from the hand and the opponent used a Mortify on it. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, they should probably go for the self mill instead of the mill me plan. They should probably go for the self mill plan. All 
All right, this is a, all right. I will admit this is a greedy keep, but look at this hand. Duress, duress, remorse, Croxa. Have to take Drowned Secrets. That's the best card in their deck. Yeah, I'd say that worked out. That worked out. Of course, I want to Angrass Rampage away the Gargoyle. That's a thing. <clears throat> I guess that's a thing. The Soul Guide Lantern. Second like creature, not an artifact. At the opponent's hand, they they mulligan to five, and then I, you know, have discard spells also. Yeah, they mulligan to five. Actually, just wait. <clears throat> I don't want like these to miss. I want to actually get get counter spells. <laughs> nah, nowhere near that bad. Uh, let's see. But I, so obviously I, I really want Rankle to resolve. Good. Hit that land drop. Hit another one. And now we got Remorse. Gets countered. And now Rankle. They should not be scrying right now. Be patient. Let's both draw cards, because now I can just have them draw cards. And I just make them... I guess I'll Fen Lurker. If I would have hit a land, then I could have Drill Bid plus Ugin. I didn't, so we'll just Fen Lurker. So then, yeah, if it's a land, make them exile. Perfect. Got more cards. Who can I kill first, me or them? Let's 
tidy up in there. I guess I should just be casting these because of rank. I'll just get it out of my hand. Or, like, because of the castle lock twain, I mean. Yeah, I no like they are like I think they were trying to mill me out. I don't think they were self mill. I think they were trying to mill the mill me out. They multiplied that game, and so they were just um, really kind of behind. Didn't have very many cards. But the, that's exactly what we want to... I mean, being a discard deck, you want to play against a counterspell deck. You want that to play against a deck with that's not really pressuring you, that has cards in hand that lets you discard all their stuff. Fenlurker with the two for one. <laughs> it's just all blast zone decks today. Ooh, it's a cutthroat deck. Meyer Triton good against cutthroat. He's good at blocking. Dragonfire is unfortunate. With that exile. Exile. Croxa. Found the Croxa. Come on, attack. No, they didn't attack. Of course, have lots of two drops for these blast zones. Probably shouldn't, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be trading damage. I, I do have the Murderous Rider. <clears throat> so yeah, if they attack with the Gadwick, I get to attack back with the Murderous Rider, gain life. That's good. I, of course, want to keep my life total high because of Castle Lock Twain.
No attacks. I know they could just use the blast zone, but I need to give Croxo some fuel. I don't really want to draw those Fable Passages anyway. Go, Mario Triton, go. Make them. I want them to make their scry decision first. I don't want to kill this thing. Maybe so I get to just attack in with Murderous Rider also. Yeah, this this pile's felt pretty good so far. Uh, we've played against basically exactly what we want to be playing against. Is it blast zone time yet? Not yet. Croxa escape. Yes, she does. Ooh, just discarding borrower. Not even bouncing. Want me to keep all my cards for the blast zone. Okay, yeah, Bivalence, yep. Want to bump your deck to Thursday at night? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know why Croxa doesn't get a, a crazy cool animation like, like Uro does. Make this quick. I'm bored already. A mind is a terrific thing to weigh. More discard. So Croxa does this this last does the three points, so now they're at two. Upkeep, Davriel, trigger, and that's game. Loneliness can hurt. Yeah, Uro Simic, so it gets a cool animation. Cause it's Simic. Alright, so we're gonna play the Azorius mirror on a Thursday. Okay. All right, and I saved it. Cool. 
I, I definitely only had time for one more, so after this, so I probably wasn't going to just be playing the Gruel Kiora, but now we'll play Gruel Kiora and we'll move that donation deck to Thursday. That sounds good. All right, so we're playing against Is It Flash. I want Drill Bit. I want Murderous Rider. I don't want Bantu. I probably don't want Liliana or Ugin. Yeah, that looks good. No, I don't think they'd have Ashiox Erasure, but that would be a bummer if they did. Yeah, and our, our uptime is like 30 minutes off. It's basically, you know, we're going from noon to midnight, so we got a little, like, basically two hours left. Um, but we had to restart the stream after starting it and even playing a match and stuff. We had to restart because for some reason we had some really bad uh, lag issues with the camera. And it just needed Streamlabs to be restarted, so that's why the uptime is off. Been streaming for longer than that. Spyglass. Does that stop escape? I don't even know. Does that does that stop escape? No, because escape is casting, right? Okay, so no, it doesn't. All right, well then, Opt has got to be their best card. Looking at their hand, like, they're, they're definitely discarding a spell to Croxa. And so since they're discarding a spell, they're not going to take three damage. My my plan with the remorse is kind of to check because if if it looked like they if they had like a good amount of lands and they were going to be discarding a land, then I would have gone Croxo. They discard a land, they take damage, and then I'd get to drill bit. Drill bit. Yeah, they could Spyglass Davriel, but that's that's fine. I don't think that's how that works, bud. They're trying, though. Try to figure out something. Um, 
Let's go Remorse. Titan of Death's Hunger. So hungry. Wait, did he even ionize that? Too hungry. All right, two and zero. Oh. You're going to try to make a turbo undergrowth deck where you use the three cost Ashiok to target yourself and get Cauldron out really fast. Dude, if it works, Grayson, yeah, if it works, let me know. I haven't seen a good Cauldron of Eternity deck. Does anybody of y'all on YouTube watching, if anybody has a good Cauldron of Eternity deck, let me know. I want to play it. I guess I just get Swamp with this Fable Passage also. I just don't have any cards in hand anymore. That's not good. I wanted to make them discard all their cards. They, they played them all before I could make them discard. Some lands. Hmm. Yeah, keep that card in hand. I need to kill this Paradise Druid. And I need another land. Gray Merchant in here. I mean, Gray Merchant's probably going to help us win the games that we don't really struggle too much winning anyway. I mean, Gray Merchant's maybe a little expensive. This is ridiculous. I mean, they, they should be able to have this one with this Castle Vantress. Surprising they've scried all these cards at the bottom, but they gotta find, there they go, they gotta find something eventually. <laughs> Finally get a land and it's a tap land. Uh. We got to bedevil that thing. But obviously, if we can't play our spells, we're not going to be winning this.
No, mill over all those lands. This, that's where we need duress to be. Um, uh, was it vicious rumors? Yeah, we need duress to be vicious rumors where it mills over one card. So like when they scried on my turn, have them mill it over. Yeah, the reason why they fight there instead of double counter is because they think, you know, I'm a black deck. They think I just have, like, you know, black removal spells usually should kill whatever they, like, they just double counter. And so they wanted to get kill a Fenlurker first before the Hydra died. Obviously, we don't have the removal, but they don't know that. They just know I have seven cards in hand. They probably thought I had removal. It was kind of awkward how it turned out emptying the hand was actually a perfect move for them. Storm's Wrath doesn't do enough. Okay, so this is 65. Guess we get rid of those. Yeah, I guess my Triton's out of here. Okay, here we go. Awkward hand with the mana again, but we have the Scry with the Temple. Maybe we Scry a land at the top. Seriously? Who plays Leyline of Sanctity? How do we get paired against a random person playing Leyline of Sanctity? Especially in a blue green deck. So they just have to have it in their opener and they just do? <laughs> I guess they kept a one lander with the two ley lines though. Yeah, no, Fen Fenlurker, Croxa, these still get rid of cards. So, like, they just kept a, a one lander and don't have any land, so it doesn't matter. Can't really keep a one lander.
All right, we'll take the duress out. I'm putting Meyer Triton back in. They still have Agonizing Remorse that targets them. I, that might be it. I'm not playing the Rampages. Come on, get some more Druids. Rats. No other Druids. Speaking of rats, we got the burglar rat in here in hand. I'm Empty. So of course our best draw is an untapped land where I can go like Croxa plus rat and Davriel minus and just make them get rid of their entire hand. the thought Ugh, what a wild fortunately it looks like I probably have another hydro crisis if that's their second to last discard I didn't draw that on top land so I didn't get to get rid of the other hydro crisis ooh Didn't play anything. Does that mean they kept like a spell, another spell in hand to protect Krasis? Trying to top deck the land and then play Krasis and draw two? Or they just drew a ley line that they can't play at all? That's obviously a good discard. No, Wrinkle. I like Wrinkle. No, I don't think Dream Trawler will ever be banned. Trade. <laughs> Press strat, put garbage cards in your deck for easy discard targets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my discard plan was thwarted by them having that ley line of sanctity to discard. Surprised that it wasn't just a crisis for four there. That's why. Okay, we figured it, figured it out. I was wondering what they kept in hand over that second crisis, and I guess they probably kept the frilled mystic. Nyx Bloom Ancient. All right, so if I go Masker Girl, we do one, two, three. So it's one, and then two, then three, then four. So it does not kill Ancient. Probably want to get that thing out of there. Play Masker Girl, I draw two. Ooh. 
Yeah. With Murderous Rider back up for like whatever they play that's gonna block the Massacre Girl. Yeah, getting Massacre Girl in play is gonna be good. I'm doing that to put the card into my graveyard for Croxa. So next turn I can Bedevil or Swift End. And then that's the sixth card, and then cast Croxa. Well, I guess I don't get to kill that thing. Kept this on top. That's true. Swift End wouldn't have added a card in anyway, so I need to Bedevil. Good call. And that'll be game. They jump block Murderous Rider, take four from Masker Girl, but then Croxa finishes it off. Crocs are hungry. Hungry. Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, we are three and O oh. with Rakdos discard. Nom, 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 nom. Barand. Barand. All right, Temple of Malady. Sultai. Enchantments. Getting rid of another Wolf Willow Haven. So shocked in. Shocked in again. Assuming counter magic. Untap the breeding pool. Be able to tap it for three mana. All right, Nissa gone. Be wary of the ground you walk she gone. We got Rankle's a good one. 
Alright, let's first let's first arrest and just kinda see what's going on over here. Dubs Death Sprout, Dubs Crisis. Alright, Wrinkle Attack. Both discard and we both sacrifice. And discard this Buntu. We both sacrifice. So I'm gonna hopefully draw land and play Ugin. That'd be ideal. That's not bad either. It's good good consolation prize. Get that out of there. Alright, maybe I needed to... Alright, drawn right now in case I would have hit a tap land. Maybe I needed to discard Bedevil, not Bantu, because I could have just cast the Bantu then. Alright, I mean, I'm getting really punched for getting rid of the Bantu, obviously. The land fights for us. Get some cards out of my hand because it casts a Lock Twain. Don't want to let them draw another card to give them another chance to find something for Wrinkle. All right, good job, Wrinkle. Good job, Wrinkle. All right, so Soul Type Ramp, Krasis, and Nissa are going to be the big things here. Just sideboard. I guess I just play. I guess I don't play Drill Bit or Duress. Like I don't play one of those, but their deck's a lot more spell heavy. So I kind of like both of them. Oh yeah, we, we did the budget decks earlier. Um, yeah, we are past the budget portion.
<clears throat> yeah, I can change the stream title. How that fable passage, how fast that fable passage came down and it did it, it felt like it was like one of those ley lines. Oh, that was like a ley line coming down. Fitness, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for being awesome. Six awesome months now. Ritual of Set Double Love Love Struck Beast combo. Have we beat aggro with this deck? No. We we faced like mono blue mill. Is it flash? Simic ramp. And now this ramp deck. Okay, just Anatran just beat this just beats mono red with this deck. Cool. Darn. I took the Skylands. So hoping they would just take the other card. It's probably too greedy of me. So of course I want, um, want the Masker Girl to clear all this up, but of course we need another land. <clears throat> also, if I double block, the Masker Girl doesn't kill all that stuff. Come on, land. Oh, Temple. Temple, you keep killing me. Find 
shall conquer you. Yeah, don't attack with those. Down to seven. Not the best time for Midnight Reapers. Wouldn't be surprised if they sack one of these wolf wolf run things for a yeah for a two two. Yeah, not too surprised there. Um, kill that thing and bring back Croxa. Yeah, Croxa hungry. Rock is going to kill them pretty fast. They got a block. So they're taking lethal. I can say we both lose a life draw card. Then my card is drill bit. So if they if it's not a land, we get to take it. Okay, it was a land, so I don't get to take it. But it's worth a try, I think. Wait, cancel. We gotta let Crocs it. Crocs it finish it out. Rankle did good. Rankle can exit stage left. And now it's Crocs' time. Still hungry. I guess that was a pretty bad play because if they draw land, then they would be able to discard land and they wouldn't have died. <laughs> so I guess that was just a really bad play. <laughs> but whatever, it was fun. It was fun and it worked. All right, 4 0. Oh. We're on to the final boss. Let's go. Final boss time. Here we go. I will keep. I would like to draw a red land. Thank you, deck. That was very kind of you. That was a good scry land, too, because I do not want to draw that Liliana there. What? You can't discard a discard deck. What are we trying to do? Can't triple discard a double discard.
So they took the Agonizing Remorse, not Midnight Reaper. What are you gonna do? Bounce my rat? I know my responsibility. I'm not bouncing the rat. You. Still not bouncing the rat. I can no longer stand by and watch. Go ahead, bounce the rat. Oh, I've done the hmm. hero thing before. Not bouncing the rat still. This means Teferi's gonna die. The with you. The card gets discarded anyway. Struggling. See ya, Ashiok. Go, Davriel, go. <laughs> Do you want Watery Grave or two other cards? Take the other cards? Cool. Sounds good to me. I'm going to take that, make you discard this. Let's tidy up in there. I'm going to kill this. Loneliness can hurt. All those cards just turned on my discard. You show remorse. I'll I've got it. I guess we're gonna have Davriel lethal this time. Not Croxa lethal, Davriel lethal. Uh, I could have wide. minus one Davrield and then made me discard and then play Croxa for Croxa lethal. But, you know, they could have had a counter spell with that. And so we just didn't need to, but that's all that we could have done. We still could have could have had Croxa lethal. Could have spent basically all the Croxas. Lethals we could ever ask for. All right, going to play Ugin over the Bantu. <laughs> you can probably tell I don't like Bantu. And <laughs> this one rat did so much damage. Yeah, that's all I want to do. Oh, wait, I brought in two drill bits. I got to take out two other cards. Uh, I guess two Mire Tritons. Mire Triton kind of cool, but I guess we're taking two out. Do you think they kept their discard in? Are they going to try to discard the discard deck some more? Exile card. Yeah, get rid of that E2 extinction. Don't want to eat no Croxes.
Don't have the lands. They're in the danger zone. And that's a 5-0 for Rakdos discard. Game ethics. Oh, 40 gems. Mythic we already had. All right, what a league. 2,100 gold, 80 gems. There's Rakdos discard. Yeah, this deck felt sweet. It felt kind of the evolution of mono black discard. Adding red for Croxa definitely made sense. Um, I didn't like the Bantu, of course. I uh, would rather just have like another Murderous Rider in the main or another Burglar Rat. Like the rats are good. Um, that's like the one thing about the, the main that... I think Bont, you know, like as we saw, we, we didn't really have five mana that often. Um, hey, hey. Spurs giving out five subs for the five. Oh, thank you, Spurs. So our new, brand new subs. Welcome, welcome. Um, then sideboard... The Masker Girl was awesome. Well, and that card was really impressive. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's like too much to change immediately. I'm not sure about the Storm's Wrath. Could, I could see Ritual of Soot being better, but I mean, I guess, you no, know, we could probably cast Storm's Wrath reliably, so no, I like it. Main thing is I'd want to change the Bantu and also, I don't really love the drill bits when when we could still play a fourth Agonizing Remorse. Like, like first, like this should be a, a fourth Remorse, then one drill bit, I think. And no, no drill bits are fine. Like those matchups that you're bringing it in, like they're not, they're dealing, they're getting damage dealt by these things. Then I think I'd want another Rat instead of the Bantu. Because the rats are pretty nice, because you know, like they're like the creatures out there, which is like good for Midnight Reaper, also. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, yeah, Masker Girl really overperformed in those games. That's for sure. Can't can't hate on Masker Girl. Um. But yeah, there we go. Midnight Reaper, Rankle, very good at cards there. Um, I think, yeah, like maybe we don't need the Lil Liliana Ugin. Could trim it down. Um, Duress didn't look, like Duress was okay. Basically, that's all Duress was just okay. I've always liked Vicious Rumors in this kind of deck, honestly. I think Vicious Rumors is kind of... Um, underrated it's just another just they discard but deals one you gain one like that one damage adds up with all these other things that do like a little bit of damage and you also have the mill over a card i know that and it doesn't it doesn't whiff so like later on in the game like we saw like how like we we're just holding like sometimes like they would empty their hand and we were just holding like duresses and remorses that didn't do anything um but you know like vicious rumors you know, kind of pairs again with with rankle. They draw the card, and then even it's a land, no matter what, and you know it deals like that like that damage. You worry about them discarding things like Uro to it. I mean, that's I mean the whole rest of the decks like that too. Burglar Rat, Croxa, they can discard things like Uro to it. I mean, sure it could mill over an Uro, but Uro is a tough one. Maybe we need like that four three mores for Uro. But Duress can also just whiff, and if they don't have any cards in hand, you know, it does it just does absolutely nothing. And with all of the creatures that are spells these days, Duress can just whiff. I think I would I would play Vicious Rumors over Duress, honestly. Uh, 
which means maybe you want duress instead of drill bit in the sideboard. But I don't know. Like, I think just like always hitting, always getting, you know, when I don't like how duress misses sometimes, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think there's like specific spells that we care about a ton. I mean, like Nissa, but you know, we have remorse. I think you just want, you just don't want things to miss. Um, yeah, as far as cards to eat their graveyard, if you really want to get rid of Uro, uh, yeah, like, there's, there's different options. Yeah, like y'all are saying, like, like Ashiok, um, Timurit, uh, Cling to Dust. Yeah, Cling to Dust. I think Remorse is, like, the best option, honestly. And so maybe you need the fourth Remorse in the sideboard for that. Could probably play the fourth over and just play two Angrass Rampage. I mean, I guess Angrass Rampage is obviously very, very important against Dream Trawler. But, like, Vicious Rumor helps out against Dream Trawler also. Because, you know, if you just try to get, like, rid of the lands in their hand and everything, too. But, yeah, you need you need Angrass Rampage against Dream Trawler. Probably the, this second Ugin. You really don't need that. You really don't need the third Ugin, like, kind of thing. Yeah, I would get rid of that. Play, this, play another Remorse over here. You don't, really don't need it. A third six mana planeswalker in the sideboard. Yeah, the reason why we have Bedevil in here is because Bedevil goes to the graveyard to help Croxa. I'm not sold that that's better though, honestly. I'm not sold that's better than Murderous Rider. But yeah, you can hit uh, um, Witch's Oven and Ember Cleave. Those are those are both very good targets, of course. No, you don't really need Thought Distortion. Like, they don't have a hand for Thought Distortion. I really don't need that card. Get rid of their hand or before that. Uh, what about Playcrafter? No. I, don't... I guess, I mean, I guess Playcrafter gets rid of Dream Trawler. I think I like Angrass Rampage more, though. Because, you know, like, they could have... You know, like, they have, like, a Narset or a Teferi in play also with Dream Trawler. They just sacrifice those things. Or you can't, can't just say creature. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, Meyer Triton... Yeah, Meyer Triton was just fine. Um... Yeah, Meyer Triton wasn't bad. Um, and, like, one good thing about Meyer Triton is it does fill the graveyard for Croxa. We didn't really play against aggro, but Meyer Triton would certainly help out against aggro, being that Death Touch creature. But then, yeah, it gets to put some cards in the graveyard for Croxa, because you definitely need cards in the graveyard for Croxa. All right, but yeah, this was, a, this was definitely a really cool deck. Fun one to play, too. I've always liked the discard stuff. So, yeah, I liked it. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Rakdos Discard, and I will see you for the next video.